Welcome everybody to the second round of the Oklahoma Open 2018, uh, sponsored by Disc Mania and Innova Champion Discs. Uh, my name is Gabriel Dow, and I am here with Bobby Cox. What's up, everyone? Uh, we've got a pretty awesome card for you today. Um, we've got Eagle McMahon sitting at 14 down, Richard Wyatt 13, Bo Tillman at 13 as well, uh, Clayton as well, and then Greg's one behind everybody uh, sitting at 12. Hole one here is a par three. It's uh, 284 feet. Um, it's got a lot of trees down the fairway, but um, it's pretty much just a straight putter or mid-range shot. Um, you might want to throw something a little bit late turning, or uh, yeah, late turning towards the end. Um, just to get right up to the basket. Yeah, there's a little gap at the very beginning, but these guys are such good players, there's no doubt they're going to make it. All right, so um, first we have Eagle McMahon, who is actually tied for the highest rated player in the world right now, along with Paul McBeth. Um, he had a really good season this year. Yeah, he does not suck. That's um, for sure. Looks like he's throwing... Most likely an MD3, just right up the gut, like I said. If you make it past those trees, um, there's an initial kind of jail in front. There's about six trees that you got to get past. But once you're past those, it's it's pretty much easy money. Yeah, and Richard going with the forehand here, probably so he can see the gap the whole way. But unfortunately, yep. he hits a tree and yep. kicks to the right. And there's that kind of jail of trees that you got to get past, and he just happened to unluckily hit one of those. Here we got Bo. This is like his specialty shot, just something death straight. He's really good at controlling those angles, and see right there, he hits that middle tree and kicks to the left. All right, looks like Clayton's lining up the straight putter shot there. Oh, it's looking good. Yep, just squeaking by those trees on the left there. And here we have the current world champion, Greg Barsby, out of Grass Valley, California. So awesome having him in Tulsa. He's really bringing yeah. out a massive yeah. gallery for this tournament. It was a great pleasure filming him for sure. All these guys really, they're they just it's so fun to watch them play. And this is like the most challenging course in uh, Tulsa, people would argue. Oh, absolutely. This this is my favorite course in Tulsa for sure. Um, just challenging and um, well designed. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, if you can stay in the fairways and stay away from those ticks in the summertime, then it's absolutely amazing. And Greg's kind of... Bo's got to do a little patent pending shot here. That's well done. And the world champ for the two to start off right here at Blackhawk. Oh, uh, just off the cage. Just low. He's definitely not going to be happy with that. No, this is one that, that everyone wants to do. And that's a great recovery putt by Richard. Mm -hmm. We'll stay it even. I'm sure you wanted the two there, trailing eagle by one. Speaking of, let's see if he can knock down the bird. Or a stroke on the field. Yeah, you knew yep. that was you knew that was going in before he even Oh yeah, that's that's easy eagle range right there. That's a tap in for him. Clayton. Oh, all right. All right. Two, He's got a birdie as well. Two birdies. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And this whole, it's just, it's pretty tricky. You love it or you hate it. Sometimes yeah. it seems super easy. Yeah. Sometimes it, it feels like one of the hardest holes out here. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's right there, but those trees. They get me every time, every single time. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> well, that's why you're in advance and they're, yeah, you know, playing true, professional. True. So. And hole two here is a 302 foot par three. Um, nothing Easiest too, hole out here. Yeah, n nothing too dangerous about it really. I mean, there's a tree, kind of straightforward with some branches hanging over, but it's pretty much your standard hyzer. You want to just throw something out wide, come back, maybe driver mid whatever just as long as it's overstable and come back and skip right up to the basket the biggest mistake i see on this hole and i'm guilty of it is you throw something a little bit with too much hyzer you don't throw quite hard enough and you come up short of this basket yeah yeah which is incredibly frustrating because it's, it's not very far i tend to throw it a little too low and eagle, eagle. he wow. totally shanked that oh yeah that's crazy that gap is big enough for him to hit oh yeah i mean if you're an open player you're hitting this gap all day every day yeah but, and that's looking pretty good from clayton yeah. 
Just a little bit of a late release on Eagle. Looks like it's a little too soft, though. A little bit, but he's right down. There's like kind of a little mini hill right behind the basket, and he'll be putting slightly uphill. Now that's looking like the shot. That looks perfect. Just your standard hyzer. Yeah, that's, Skipping th that's right perfect. Up. Yep. And yeah, on this hole, you really can throw anything you want, really. Just, yeah. just whatever you're more comfortable throwing. I mean, you can go mid. Just control the speed of super it. Super overstable fairway. I've seen a couple skips hit the chains and pop out. I mean, this is a very aceable hole for sure. And that was a great shot by Bo, by the way. Put it right there about 15 feet from the basket. And that's looking good as well. As long as it doesn't skip too far. And that's about oh. circle's edge. Yep. Man, it's crazy seeing Eagle having to pitch up on this hole. Yeah, yeah. I was I was actually back there filming, and I was just like, wait, that was Eagle that hit the tree? Yeah. You just don't expect it from the guy yeah. like that. Oh, definitely. And this can be kind of a scary poke with, with the little drop-off behind the basket. Yeah, there is a drop-off, and I've seen a lot of nasty rollaways behind there. And, and, and this is one of the few holes where the basket's out in the open, so you yep. can often catch a lot of wind on this hole. Oh, yeah. But Greg's not scared. No, he's he's pretty good putter. And Clayton Lawson for the two. Oh. Maybe a little nerves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Making leak hard. Mm -hmm. With some really high caliber. And he players. got a he got a stroke on the field on the last hole and minus eagle. Yeah. Well, minus eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll tap in from Bo. But him at 14. Richard tapping in his birdie. Eagle tapping in the surprising three. Surprising par, right yeah. On to hole three. I had actually never watched Clayton play before, but yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, yeah, he's he's really good. He's he's kind of up and coming. He's but, from uh, the Oklahoma City area. Yeah, apparently he's had a really good season as well. Um, hole three is a 455 foot par three. It's um, interesting because of this tree on the right you see here. Um, I mean, most people will be throwing the forehand. Um, some will be throwing the uh, turnover shot, but um, I mean you can get some pretty nasty kicks. If you kick right, there's a little creek area with a tiny gap that you can hit, but um, I mean that's not ideal obviously, but um, yeah, it's pretty yeah. much forehand. Yeah, yeah. if you're a right-handed player and you're throwing a forehand, you really got to make sure it flips up and rides straight. If it goes high the whole way, it's going to finish in that ditch on the right and you're pretty much in jail. It's really hard to get to the basket. Like that looks a little sketchy here. Well, that looks... Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he made it really far down the fairway, but he might have a uh, tricky upshot. Yeah. Like I said, there's just a tiny gap there. Um, really, the name of this creep. course is to keep the disc on the fairway off the drive. Yeah, yeah. If you keep you, it in the fairway, you're good. Yeah. And since he's on the left side, it's not nearly as thick as the right, so he yeah. should be okay from there. And Bo, looks like he... I don't know if he was trying to turn that over, but... Um, he ended up a little bit left of the basket. Greg's going with the traditional play here. And Greg's one of the best uh, forehand players. He's oh, really good at getting his to flat or even turning quite a bit and getting a ton of distance. Oh, yeah. And it looks effortless. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of effortless forehands, yeah, this guy bombs. Mr. Eagle McMahon. He went, he's, he's going for the all highs shot. A little bit shot. wide, but might be coming back. Uh, he, he, got had, for, he got pretty fortunate there. Yeah, he did. He did. Cut a tree, still in the fairway. Decent position. He'll be able to save the three from there. Looks like Clayton's going for an anti flex. Yep, a little turnover shot. That's a beautiful shot. That's that's yeah. pretty much right where you want to be. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal for the two, but um, definitely an easy three from there. Yeah, if you're two in this hole, props to you. You know, you had an insane drive. Yeah. And well, Greg can two right here. Oh my god! Ooh. Scaring it. And Greg's made so many of those this year. Just the throw-ins, the long. The throw-ins. Throw -ins. It yeah. seems like every round he has one. Good Ooh. upshot by Eagle. Great, great upshot. Looks like yeah, he, he might have like a little anti line. Looks like yeah. 
He oh, was great definitely shot. fortunate not to kick further into that. Great shot. Because there is a lot of stuff in the way. Bo just gonna lay up. And about three weeks earlier than this, you know, these trees are were way thicker, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. The leaves are starting to fall. Um, this course in the summertime is very, very challenging. Yeah, very challenging and lots of bugs. Yeah, lots and lots of bugs. It's a pretty good run from Clayton. Oh, less with a long comebacker though. Oh man. And he is gonna have to take a four on this. Both saves a three. Great as well. Yeah, no twos. Not surprising. No I mean, twos. it is yeah. a very challenging yeah, hole, but you might. I mean, Eagle, Eagle, and Greg could, could for sure do it. Oh, absolutely. If you're two in this hole, you're definitely getting a stroke on the majority of the field for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, we've got hole four. Um, this is a par three as well. Probably one of the more challenging par threes out here because you have this tiny little gap tiny. right in front of the basket. And um, you just have to throw either the perfect forehand flip up to flat shot um, with some over stability at the end or a turnover shot. Um, I mean, I personally just lay up, but I'm not, I'm not near close. To yeah, you see a lot of people pulling out the putter, honestly. Yeah. And, and they're just trying to make it through that gap that you yeah. see right there. Yep. But yeah, I do prefer the forehand line so you can see the gap the whole way through the whole shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is like the last hole, pretty much a bonus bird because... I mean, you're you're getting the stroke on the field for sure with the two on this one. See, and even that looks like a fantastic shot off the tee box, and, it's, and he's still in the rough. But I think he'll take that all day. Yeah. Like I said, you literally just have to throw the perfect forehand flip up to flat shot to get all the way there. Bo's going with the turnover. Yeah, but that should cut roll, cut roll right back in the fairway. Yep. Right. Easy up shot from there. Yep. With the forehand. Yeah, this hole is made for Greg. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. burned it. Oh, is it coming back out? No, I had oh, a tree. No. It was nope. going to yeah, though. There's a little clump of trees up there to the left. You can't really see it from the camera angle right here, but that was gonna skip a mile too. It was oh, starting yeah. to come back on that yeah. hyzer yeah, angle. That was looking good. He just needed a little bit more right, which is why this shot just. Requires so much touch and so keeping it low. such good aim, and that's putting. Yeah, that's that's, that's a great a, shot. A circle two, something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it should be noted that uh, there is an airport across the street, so we weren't we weren't able to fly the drone. Yeah, we, we kind of had to walk it, so uh, we did what we could to get you guys the footage of the holes. And that's coming up way short, but it's in the middle of the fairway, and he'll take that. Greg's just going to have to kind of pitch up with the forehand here. Yeah. It looks oh, like a miss release. Wow. A little bit sawed off, which is very surprising to see from Greg. And he's yeah, that, gonna was, be, that was not a good upshot. Yeah, but he's going to have a little about 30-footer there on the circle's edge. Clayton's going to try to jump this up there. No, maybe not. Dunk it. Throw it. Oh, oh man. my Ooh. god. And he scared the basket. Jeez. So right next to Clayton. Gonna be laying up as well. Yeah, this is a common spot to land on this whole loss for sure. Yeah, it's it's ideal. Really. If you're not if you're not getting a two, that's a great spot to be. And he kinda He's gonna have a tester. Yeah. Especially in the woods. A little bit of weird footing, maybe. That was a good run. Yep. Let's see if Eagle can get this, too. Oh, oh, off the band. Right off the band. That was a great run, though. It seems like he touches metal no matter where he's putting. Oh, yeah. yeah he's just got that dialed in. Especially this year, he's been killing yeah. it. Good putt. Good Very putt nice. Him. Yeah, that's second good putt in a row. Oh, yeah. And go from the rough around the edges here. Oh. Sinks it right in. Keeps him at 14 down. One back of equal. Tapping in his par. Along with Richmond. And 
that we are on hole five. My favorite hole out here. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's this is a fun little hole. Um, it's a par four, 560 foot dog leg left. So um, pretty much, uh, I mean, players like Simon and Eagle can definitely get the sky hyzer there around the tree. But uh, I mean, the majority of the players will be throwing something super overstable as hard as it can straight. Well, not as hard as it can, but. Um, you really want to throw something low, some overstable, low and hard, and you should yeah. get a massive skip to the left, just yeah. hoping you miss the, that bundle of trees right yeah. there. Yeah. As long as you miss that bundle of trees, yeah. you'll have a wide open up shot, just dead straight shot. Yeah. This is it's it's a pretty easy three. It's it's a must three. But then sure. if you don't throw hard enough and you hyzer into the woods, then you're in like forehand roller zone. Yeah. Which yeah. is not There's, fun. Yeah. The woods around this, you just need to stay in the fairway. So that's that's just slow enough to where it should get a pretty yeah. decent skip. Miss those trees there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yep. Oh yeah, that's, and that's, that's the sweet. That side. little gap right there is what you want to hit. If you can get that, get the nice little skip around, then you have a super easy upshot for three. We got Greg going a little bit a little wider. wider. Yeah, it looks like yeah. he just yanked it a little bit. Yep. And that's gonna be and a really yep. tricky spot. Yep. It's just a weird stance, trying to straddle out or whatever from behind those trees. Well, and it, and it kind of pinches off the fairway, too. That looks yeah. a little tight, unless you threw yeah. it hard enough. No, no, it's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was right in the center of the gap. He's going to have a One nice little, little upshot. And Clayton's got some sneaky power. He can really put a move on a disc. That's looking nice. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Right up there, just past yeah, you're really trying to just give yourself the best angle to the basket on this hole. Up wow, the forehand. what? Maybe a little turnover putter. Yep. That's so hard to do. What? And is he like? That is not bad. Is he like thirty oh. feet out? Yeah, he's he's circles edge for sure. Um, how man, you, that was an awesome shot. How do you do that? I can't. Oh my gosh. Just a slow turning putter, Anheuser forehand. Down a tie fairway. And Richard Wyatt lining up a nice little hyzer. Caught the trees, oh, though. That's... Oh, man. And that's something you really don't want to do on this hole on your upshot is just you want to keep it lower because there's a lot of branches just kind of hanging over the, the, uh, the, the green. green. Yeah. And that's not even that close, yeah, really, it's... from like from where he was. Mm-hmm. I think he's got that putt though. Eagle's got an easy little putter up shot. I'm sure he's got this styled in. Yeah, and he's like kind of kind of on the left side, so he has a little bit of room for the hyzer, a little slight hyzer. Yep. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, he he played this hole literally perfectly. Oh yeah. And that's pretty much all it's asking for is just just skip on to the left, nice little putter shot up, and you're good. And I thought Eagle might have been going for the over the top shot off the drive, yeah, but I did but, too. I, I was I was actually filming and I kind of made my way over towards the basket, thinking that he might be doing something like that. But I mean, it's uh, gotta be like the per yeah. If, if it's not the perfect shot, then you're in an awful position. Yeah, exactly. And that's why he you're risking didn't four. throw that shot is because yeah. he you know he has the lead and it's an easy enough hole to birdie. And and, so, and his opponents aren't gonna get that aggressive, so yeah. why why try to yeah exactly. Good putt by, so, by Bo there. Yeah. Put him at 15 down. Yes, sir. And Greg. About 25. Yeah, yep. there it is. A little high, but uh, caught it pretty nicely. Saved his birdie, yeah. They're making up for their upshots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've taken uh, some pretty big numbers on this hole just going into the rough. We were lucky to not see any of these guys going to the rough because it is very brutal. Yeah, I mean, like this this is the course where you got to be super sharp on all of your shots. You can't yeah. have any mental mess-ups, you know, where you get lazy yeah. and you don't really think out a shot. 
but you really got to take your time and, and keep it in the fairway. I, mean, yeah. I, I can't stress it enough. An eagle with a very clean birdie there. Super clean. Archer taking a par. Yeah, he's not happy with yeah, that. He's not happy with it, but I mean, at least he's not taking a bug with hitting that tree. And he was lucky enough not to kick further into the woods. Yeah. And uh, hole six is um, a 268-foot par three. Um, most people will be throwing a little forehand skip shot. You really want to throw it um, kind of flat at the beginning, something overstable to have it skip right in front of those trees that you just saw um, in front of the basket. Um, I mean, some people will be going for the backhand. I'm sure we'll see one or two of those on this card. But um, Yeah, I mean, if you throw forehands, Pretty often, you'll most likely go for the forehand route. If you throw yeah. backhands, you go with the backhand route. The right. backhand route, there are a little bit more trees in the way towards the end, mm -hmm. uh, like those you see there, but he seemed yep. to get the room. Oh, yeah. He got through all of those and is actually pretty deep. Yeah. But I think he's got that putt as well. Yeah, he's been putting really well this round yeah. so far. The forehand gap is just so much more open um, compared to the backhand I gap. I think it's that one tree on the yeah, right. Yeah, it, it really is. And That one uh, tree makes it look so much smaller, that gap. And that's looking pretty tasty. Greg, that right is there. looking perfect. Oh Going. my! Oh, oh my god! Another view. And How if did that not was, go in? If he was oh. a millimeter higher, that would have been an ace, ladies and gentlemen. That that's, that should have went in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was great shot. And oh no! Oh. Man, eagle. Oh, it's, it's, it's still got up there, though. Wide. I thought it just got sh shot but straight down. He's going to be left with maybe 45, 50 feet. Yeah, I'm sure he was expecting to get a little bit closer than that. Yeah, especially on this hole, because for these guys, it's it's definitely a must-get. I got and goosebumps from that, that almost ace. <sighs> yeah, no, I was, I was right behind the basket filming, and I thought it was in. As soon as I saw it skip, I was like, that's it. And don't, and it, don't mess oh. up the angle of the... Uh, uh, the, exactly. The exactly. Don't, exactly. Don't yeah, freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> you gotta get the shot. That's looking pretty tasty as well. Yeah, that's looking awesome. Oh, oh my god! And that is number two, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we just had two almost aces. Wow. <laughs> that, that was, was awesome. That was very close. Clayton, just an easy little up and down. No, he's oh, way short. Wow. Yeah, he's way short. I did not just see him hit that tree. I want to see Eagle make this. That's... He's taking his time. Show everyone why he's the number one player in the world. Oh, oh. my god. He actually looked, I got a little stable. That, yeah. yeah, got a little stable on him on the end there. Ended up a little, a little bit left. Here's Clayton for two. And oh that, man, that's and what he's that... been doing on all this plus this round. Yeah. He's, he's he has been. Putting the energy on it to where it gets yeah. there. He's just been hyzering right in front. <sighs> and Richard, Richard from the... inside the circle. Clayton, unfortunately, is taking the bogey. And he is n not happy at all with the bogey on this hole. No. With two near aces. Like, this, this is definitely a must get. And Eagle, very disappointed with this par, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. There's holes out here that it's like you, you need to get the two. You have to birdie it. Yeah. And then there's holes where you're just trying to get a par. Yeah. You know. And you, that was one of those holes for sure. Yeah. And hole seven here, um, pretty much like you want to make this front gap make that the gap. we just that the camera just went through. Like, if you hit that gap, then you're good. Um, yeah. The most I, common... I, mean, I mean, as long as it's not turning over or hyzering early into the stuff, but you pretty much want something. Like, just a flip-up flat putter that'll just ride all the way to the basket. Um, you'll also see a forehand. I personally prefer the, prefer the forehand. Um, yeah, forehand, you have a better percent of making the gap, but yeah. not quite getting all the way up to the basket. Just because it, It's hard to keep a forehand just dead straight. Yeah, yeah. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. You just kind of have to force it over. Oh, shaking that a little bit. Oh, a little bit of an early release and caught that left tree. And here we're going to see the forehand line. Looks Basically like the same shot he did on hole one. Yeah. He's got a little putter. I wonder what that disc is. I, I, uh, if you know what I that disc is, put it putter. in the comments. Yeah. It. Yeah. Put it in the comments section if you know what that disc is. That purple putter. Maybe yeah. mid-range. I don't really know. I'm guessing AVR. Because Greg's just so good at... I mean, we just saw him two holes ago 
throw a 200 foot turnover putter shot. Yeah. This touch game is for real. Eagle just that's, winding up that's the mid. That's really good. Yep. Yeah. Just that, slides right fine. up there. A little short, but I think he's got that putt. Richard lined up the forehand as well. Looks like he's got a mid in his hand uh, and just saws it off. It looks like into he, the woods. Did he fight through a little oh, bit? Oh, yeah, he did he, fight yeah, through. Yeah, he got a great wow. kick. Yeah. Very fortunate. Um, yeah. Didn't really catch it, but it looks like he got a kick off of one of those first trees kind of out towards the fairway. Look at that. Right down, that is and right down the middle. That is the ideal shot for this hole. It's just so hard to do. That's really just because that first gap just gets in your head. And Bo with the shank so job small. there. Yeah. He needs to dial in that, that upshot game a little bit. Yeah, he's... He's making the putts, but he's making it hard for him. He's going to have a long putt for uh, to save his par. Yeah, exactly. Going. Oh! Richard, why? Richard, why? Wow. That is an awesome putt from way deep. And he is overjoyed with that putt for sure. And that gives him a ton and, of confidence going into the next hole. Which oh, is absolutely. Probably one of the hardest holes out here. At least the most intimidating. One uh, of the most intimidating. One of them, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them out here. Yeah. <laughs> He, oh. he, he knew that immediately. Yeah, just a little bit left. Tough putt. I mean, and especially Bo's from gonna, a knee. Or Eagle's going to be straddling out here. It looks like he's got some branches. And he'd kind of prefer the straddle over being or with leaves in his face. Yeah, yeah this is his time to pull ahead of Bo. Yep. That mm. was perfect. Easy money right there. I guess if you are number one in the world, you should be able to putt, straddle, and stagger, yeah. whatever you call it, yeah. like the normal yeah. way. Greg tapping his bird. That was a great shot. And Clayton as well. Yeah, those are two great drives. On to hole seven. Uh, or hole eight, actually. My bad. Uh, par three. It's a 339-foot. Um... Pretty much, you have a safe play, which is a forehand through the left gap through the trees, which is not necessarily ideal for these guys because, I mean, if the you're power. playing open, you got the power 339 foot hyzer to get to the basket, but it is going to carry over the OB water. Um, but pretty pretty easy for these guys. Yeah, one um, of the things on this hole is if you are going with the big hyzer, you really need to make sure you throw it wide enough to miss the overhanging branches. Yeah, and you gotta throw it really, yeah. really hard because it yep. does look a little bit shorter than it, than it plays. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and there's often a lot of strong uh, headwind on this hole too, so you gotta pick something stupid over stable. Yeah. And that tree right there really gets in your head when you're on the tee box because it is right there in the hyzer line. You have to throw it just right of that tree to have it swing all the way back to the basket because the pond actually kind of swings back um, towards the basket. Yeah, towards the basket. A little bit further on in the hole that you can't really see right now but that's how you play it Eagles, super high yeah. and wide but yeah. not everyone has yeah. the power to get away with that exactly look at that that's oh that's better. perfect <laughs> like this hole is way harder than what that just looked like yeah i mean if you got the power that's the play just throw it really wide really high and you're there and it's kind of funny because we have people in tulsa that that take massive rakes out to this pond and rake discs every, every week and just get piles of them oh yeah and they take it to basket yep. case and uh let the owners know that they got their disc back. Yeah, shout out to uh, Michael Westfall. I've gotten a couple discs, yeah, discs from him. There's a couple guys. I've thrown there, lots of discs in these ponds, and he's found, I'd say, about four or five of my discs <laughs> yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's definitely much appreciated. Man, all these guys are making it look super easy. And I believe if someone does go in the water, they play from the White Hawk. Uh, T box up there? Yeah, unless it hits the bank. Unless it's bank. Okay. Yeah, yeah, unless it touches OB. Okay. But I mean, this hole's pretty standard Skyheiser. Yeah. See, here's uh, Richard. Richard after yeah. Going OB, he's playing yep. from the White Hawk, which is another yep. course I hear just shorter tees, same baskets. And it's really two completely different courses. I mean, yeah, it really is. White Hawk's definitely much easier of a course. But, it's, a, but it, it, it's, it's almost more fun though because you're not you know in the in the woods all day <laughs> yeah yeah that's true 
But not for these guys. These no, guys want to challenge. Yeah, these guys yeah. like this course. Okay, just going to tap in his two there. <laughs> tap in. <laughs> That's so annoying. From that distance, my legs are shaking. I'm having a hard time breathing, and then it just falls out of my hand. That's not yeah. <laughs> Especially in tournaments. Eh, not necessarily. Yeah. You, you got a good putt. Yeah, hey, sometimes. Thank you, though. Richard, yeah. the four, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna have to settle for a bogey. And these two drives. Yeah. I've, awesome I, job, I, guys. I don't think I've ever been that close before, actually. I have a couple bad? times. You have? Okay. Yeah. 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 The hyzer just never works I, out. I, yeah. I, I back up, when I had power. No, yeah. Yeah, I end up just going <laughs> for the Still forehand. figuring that out. I'm trying to get back. I was throwing a lot further last season, but it's all good. But um, hole nine, we have a par three, 396 foot. You've got double OB. There's two pawns, actually. You have the initial pawn that we played last hole, um, OB, and then there's a pawn to the left on the fairway. So there's just kind of this skinny island leading up to the basket. Uh, most of these guys will be throwing, I'd say... Maybe like a Thunderbird or something like that. Maybe yeah, a PD. Yeah. And, um, They're probably going to be aiming on the right side of those trees yeah. and just having a hyzer right in front and head right to the basket. Yep. But this, is, this is getting way too much turn. Yeah, that's turned over just a little bit. But the, the mistake on this hole is just <sighs> throw, it, throw it far. Yeah. Do yeah. not leave it short yep. at all. Yeah, the, uh, the gap right in front of the basket is pretty tight. Um, I mean, for as long as the hole is, almost 400 foot. You pretty much have to have that hyzer just perfectly right in that gap. And Eagle is actually throwing a mid-range on this hole. Oh my god! Yeah. No, he's not. He threw a mid-range on this hole. I was on the camera right behind the basket, and as soon as I saw that roll up to the basket, I was like, this dude just threw a mid-range on this hole. And yeah, that's just mind-blowing. That's a first. Clayton catches the tree. It looked like it was going to skip up nicely to the basket, but a little bit of bad luck there. And uh, this is the second out of the three holes that kind of pop out of the woods and are more in the open. And a lot of times you'll be playing your round with no wind, and then you come out here and it's just howling. And, yeah. And, and you don't yeah. really know what these, to throw. These three holes are brutal in the wind, oh. for sure. But you don't feel the wind throughout the rest of the yeah. course. It's, it's yeah, just exactly. these holes, and it's it just so it messes with you. But it looks pretty calm today. Yep. Bo had a nice shot there. I think he's right next to Clayton, actually, a little bit in front of him. Retro was try trying to play it safe, it looked like. Yeah. yeah. He'll be able to salvage a three there. Yeah, his game plan was probably to get a three on this hole, though. What do you think? He wasn't really trying to do it. Yeah, he doesn't have the distance that these guys do. Yeah. He does throw no knock. Yeah, yeah it's no even... knock on him. He's just yeah, playing no. with the Eagle. So. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Eagle and Greg. Boom! Oh, and Clayton with a fantastic putt. Absolute death putt. Right behind the basket, it's actually OB if, if there's water down there in that little ditch area. Wow. I have some good putts this round. Oh, yeah. I'm liking it. I love it. I love good putt. That's probably one of my favorite things to see in disc golf, honestly. Oh, there. look at the confidence from Bo. He walked that in. He knew it from yep. the start. Right. <laughs> that's what that's what we call the swagger walk right there. Yep. Yeah. Don't smile. Don't smile. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's starting to smile. He's starting to smile a little bit. Right. Richard knocking in his par. Eagle with his just insane birdie. Yeah, that that's stupid. Yeah, that's definitely a bonus bird. But uh, that's gonna conclude our front nine. Um, We've got Eagle McMahon sitting two strokes ahead of Bo and Greg, Clayton Lawson and Richard Wyde, not too far behind. But um, yeah, tune in uh, for the back nine. Um, that'll be coming out real soon right after this. Yeah, I'm Check super stoked. Let's get it.